what should we kick off on the topic of delusion in in 2021 does anybody want to well aaron was on quite an interesting show with some some females on it where it kind of came up so i don't know if you've got any thoughts from that aaron yeah but... you're just down in miami doing the fresh and pit fresh and fit podcast yeah it, yeah i guess it's it's a perfect example uh so we're on fresh and fit and um they had uh three gals on uh and they're kind of regularly bringing women on and, and interviewing i think it's a good thing because uh it shows you the insight into women you get from the horse's mouth. But in this particular uh, episode, there are three gals, and they're all in 30-plus. And I asked them, like, okay, do you want to get married? Where does getting married rank in your priorities uh, today? Mm -hmm. And why aren't you married now? And they were all attractive women. There's certainly, there have been good men that have thrown themselves at their feet. There's no doubt about that. And uh, it's one thing when we hear it through news articles or as ryan points out you the, the internet is a very finite and it'll dredge up all the monsters beneath the sea that were always there we just get to see them this time mm. but when you talk to real live women and you realize it isn't shtick you know the dating profiles we see like oh is that just the worst of the worst it's like no you start getting a real baseline you put your, your finger on the pulse you're like this is real like we've been pretty accurate in women's disinterest um uh, in men, frankly. Mm -hmm. And so the, the women roughly, in, uh, you know, marriage was either dead last or third or fourth place, but uh, not, not once was it number one. I even said like, well, you're 38. When you know, what the hell this is about, this is about it. You know, bottom of the ninth, two outs. What are you doing? Why well, come first? And it was just this complete disconnect from what is love, what is required to have a, a, a healthy long-term relationship or a marriage uh, where one guy was like, well, me, my career, my dogs, dogs, mm -hmm. you're freaking dogs. <laughs> there was a 29 year old gal uh, majoring in hotel management. And, uh, <laughs> and, and she's an attractive young gal. And, uh, but my career comes first and I got to get established. I'm like, you're 29. What have you been doing for 11 years? Yeah. And uh, what we what we finally came to the conclusion is that because not just the internet, but <clears throat> the nature of men and having disparate sex drives, uh, men and society have really kept women inculcated in this bubble where reality and menopause <clears throat> and biological fact and common sense, not to mention the philosophy and the morality of like, what is love? Like, don't you want to fall in love with like? Dude, you're you're you. You're you're the most boring person on the planet to yourself because you know yourself all the time. Do you not want to find value in others? Do you not want to be actually human and fall in love? And it's you could see it where it's this no, we're focusing on ourselves. We're we do not yeah, you know, yeah. The statement is they'd like to get married, but you saw that real world where they're like, nope. We don't have to get like men are kind of I, I'm not I'm not I don't want to put words in their mouths. Me, Roll can better speak for me but they really don't think to find attract and convince someone to fall and compel someone to fall in love they think that's like a, a a weekend process like you just again go to the husband store get yourself a husband off the retail box and there you go mm -hmm. so uh it was uh, amazing to me but you could you could just see how society men want to you know bill burr uh, you know, women are surrounded by this tornado of misinformation Ladies. and no one corrects them because we want to fuck them. And you saw that on display on that. Mm -hmm. So they are so far removed because everyone will tell them what they want to hear because either guys want to fuck them or governments want their votes or businesses want their money. Mm -hmm. And there was no getting through to them. No getting, so there was a, it was a, a very uh, good bit of anecdotal evidence as to how disconnected the women of that age are. <laughs> 